We're back. We're back. Hi. Happy New Year. I'm not talking to a pair of shoes anymore. <laughs> we thought we'd do a summer's greatest hits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and we actually got some misses as well. So we thought we can do. We're going to do two videos. So there'll be two parts of this. But anyway, um, do you want me to kick off or? Yeah, I'm out of breath. She has. <laughs> she has a long list. I have a long list, but yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I've been running up and down stairs too, so I'm a bit hot. <laughs> but um, okay, I've been absolutely loving bright colours in summer, mm -hmm. and you may remember this one because this is my Bite Beauty Rose or Rose lipstick. Yeah, but that was when you it was brand new. Yeah, like, and yeah, years. it's been it's been seeing a bit of love. Um, it's just a really lovely bright rose pink warm pink but it's not just the color i just love the way it feels on my lips it's really really creamy so this is a drugstore darling this is um from revlon one of their lip butters that was recently released it's uh juicy papaya, papaya. and it's really nice it's a soft shiny color and you can talk about that one too can't yeah you? Soon. yeah <laughs> so that's definite favorite um the next one and stop saying um the next one <laughs> is body from the shop. body shop. It's coconut lip gloss and it's got a really nice, you smell that, it's got the really nice coconut scent. So it's really summery. Oh, this too. You know, but why I really like this is because I've loved layering it, layering it over nude shades and peach shades. It gives it a really nice high shine. Mm. So it's really versatile. And if you don't, and you feel like just having, you know, naked lips, but a bit shiny, this is really good as well. So I love that. And one more, this one's an honorable mention from Milani. It was sent to me from one of my good blogger friends, Larry from I Heart, I Heart It. And it's called Flamingo Rose. Where can you get it? US obviously but okay. I think you there must be online stores but let's see if let's have a look at that swatch it's just really smooth creamy very well pigmented it's really nice I don't know if you want to have a play with that too you mind no not at all it's not really oh, scented not. isn't it lovely but it's just you it know doesn't smell waxy no, it hasn't got any bad scent. It's just, oh, the pigmentation's amazing. Moving on to some more colour, and these are nails. One is a really recent discovery. And I can't believe it's recent. For me, it is. Misty Jade. These are the Rimmel I. What is it? I love Lasting Finish, I think it's yes, called. They are so good because they are so cheap. So yeah. that's why I'm surprised you just. Yeah, I know. I, um, I think, I don't know, I was being a bit snobby uh, maybe the thing is it. they don't have many up they have the staple colors that's what yeah. i would call it staple yeah. colors but this they one's a little bit really out there any. kind of it caught my eye it's a little bit different i've and got the lilac one i've got yeah. this one. Oh, what's that one called cranberry zest okay so you love them already i was just amazed it, it's like a almost a gel mm. i don't know it's a really high shine and it does as it says, it's a lasting thing. So cranberry zest is a fruity which has a smell, mm -hmm. which smells like the fruit. But this just stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I was playing on going, oh it doesn't smell. Okay. But colour is just great. Yeah, this one is not scented. Misty Jade is not, not scented. scented. But I just love the colour and it got a lot of compliments when I was wearing it. And yeah, I recommend as a Yeah, as wait a for the half. Line. Well, yeah, that's another thing too. They're cheap anyway, but around here we can get them even cheaper. So the next polish I have is a really old, old, old favourite. This is from OPI it, and it's called, it's all Greek to me. And I absolutely had to mention this as, a, as one of summer's greatest summer. hits because I wear it every summer. It's my go-to pedicure shade. I mean, it's got a, it's got like two tone. It's it's a warm. Oh, this golden metallic. Yeah, golden metallic through the pink. So it's really really nice. And I actually, I've gotten down so far that I've had to put thinner drops in it. Wow. So it's you know there's probably. She has hit pan. I've hit pan on a bottle. I mean you can't see because I've shaken it up. But it's probably got about so much left. Not much left on that one. 
All right, now I'm coming down to the end so I can move on. Favorite fragrance this summer has been my Chanel Allure Sensuelle. And it's just, it's a really fresh smell too. I um, just say to me, it's very, Sensuelle is probably a good word for it. It's very, it's a really intoxicating fragrance mm. and you know, it really comes into its own when you wear it of an evening that I like wearing during the day too. It's just such a, I don't know, I drink it in basically, I really love it. So it, I think it's a bit of a, a, bit of a floral, but uh, I'd have to look into it to tell you exactly what the notes are. No, really. It's just, yeah, I'm not yeah, a perfume not person. person. Sorry. <laughs> Moving on, and you can tell that I really like this because it's gone. gone. <laughs> this is from Natio, it's their wellness body scrub. A bit different in it's not a salt or sugar scrub it's got ground apricot kernels mm -hmm. so you can use it on wet or dry skin it's not going to dissolve as soon as you put it on wet damp skin and it's you know it's like a gel formula and you just scoop it out and I must admit I've got a bit of a habit of scooping out probably too, too much. much so I went through it really quickly but it's got um, pomegranate oil and castor oil and it's really moisturizing so I found that it didn't just smooth the skin but it moisturized as well so i felt it's just really nice did it leave a film you know how some have a film? no but i mean i felt silky is mm. the way i describe it so i didn't feel slimy or you know like i didn't want to get it off Residue, it just it yeah. felt really lovely so now the last thing which you probably laugh about is my footworks <laughs> healthy cracked relief heel cream from Avon, trusty old Avon. I do like some things from Avon. This I've been buying for years and years and years, and I don't get cracked heels. I just don't get cracked heels. I don't. They don't get dry. I'd hardly even need to. What is it? Use a pumice stone yeah. or whatever to scrub them because it just keeps them looking smooth and soft. So swear by it. That is definitely summer's greatest hit, and I'll end on that high note. And I'll hand over to Lynn now. Oh, this is quite short. Um, the Quality. Reason, the, no, the reason was um, I had a redness, dry, weird. I don't know what starts with it, but it won't go away. So you couldn't wear any makeup. I couldn't wear any makeup, and then of course I went and bought makeup. I thought I thought it was fine, so I put it on, and by 2 p.m. the next day I was just. 2 p.m. that day, I was just like, I thought I would scratch something up. Ooh. It was turning all red, uh, but Ma, uh, but Mecca very kindly took it back. So thanks, Mecca. Yeah. <laughs> so seriously, I couldn't do anything, and even for a wedding, I just had to skip this part. Oh really? Monday. So you had to leave that? Yeah. Patch. So what did you do? Put foundation everywhere else. <laughs> so that was just like blush, instant blush. <laughs> Well, you know, you do. Yeah. I do it. No, you so this is what I use all day every, and every night, right? So rose hip oil. I just that's that's basically all I use. Now I've used rose hip oil before another brand, and it just didn't. It just sat on my face. It didn't do anything. So I used to think that rose hip oil was overrated, but that's all I'm using now. Um, especially on the spots. Sometimes during the day as well. Mm -hmm. Day and night, but I just do a top up during the day if I need it. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you carry it with you? Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, and something I discovered a few months ago was this. Doesn't it look fantastic? So wait till I do this. Yeah. I and do love those. I swear by the yeah, dual so phase removers. Yeah, this is the Elemis. Uh, this is the a makeup remover by Elemis. It's called the White Flowers Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. It says that it's you can use it for waterproof as well, but I've never tried it because mm -hmm. uh, I don't use waterproof. I makeup. do. Yeah, I do. So yeah, I know. I yeah. understand how these things are superior. They're really good because of the oil. Yeah, the emulsion. Solution. Yeah. So um, and I use it now for to take off lipstick as well, especially you know cherry hey! lash, our favorite cherry lash. Dark lipstick, which can stay. Yes. So I found this work really well, and there's no smell because you were asking me that it smells yeah, like Yeah, it's white no flowers. scent. It's but I probably I don't think you want scented stuff in your no. eye. There's no scent. Mm. So it must just have that the white flowers, flowers as an ingredient. Ingredient. 
Um, that's my new thing. Mm. I make up more. So speaking of scent, so this is my new scent for Chris from Christmas. Mm. Um, it's called Osmantis um, by Almond Jane, and I bought this in one of those boutique fragrance places in Auburn. Oven Road, Melbourne. Mm -hmm. um, you seriously have to go there because it is like an experience. Oh gosh, yeah, go on. <laughs> Everything is so well thought of. The layout, the appearance, and usually I get intimidated going to a shop like that because there's two people in there and then there's one of me. Mm -hmm. But get ganged there's up a on. there's a client like clients kept coming maybe because it was a Christmas. Christmas Eve, mm. clients kept coming in and they were just really knowledgeable. So what they do is they can do a, a personalized shopping experience, which is they ask you what you like, oh, what kind of fragrance you like. Mm. So I say yeah. citrus floral, yeah. or you can say I'm using a mess, whatever. Um, and they know what notes is in there and they can tell you and they can recommend it. So she, she she sprays it on the card, but she writes the name on the card as well, so I don't get confused. Because mm -hmm. I get overwhelmed easily by fragrances. Yeah. If, I don't, if I don't say, I want to try this new brand, say like when Prada Candy came out, then I get I oh, know you can only smell, I think, about three different scents, and then your Lost. nose gets overwhelmed. Lost. And overwhelmed, and I just had to walk away. And you end up with pockets full of cards, and you don't know which one to switch because they don't have names. Um, and then you narrow it down to two because she'll spray it on your left arm and one on your right arm, and she writes that down on the card for you too. And then she says uh, to leave the shop, and you know, mm -hmm. um, she said at minimum 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. I like that they do that. And she says if I get it wrong, you just have to come back another day. Yeah. No, I think that's just brilliant. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. like a, they are specialty shops so they know what they're talking about. Mm. Um, you know, they have $100 candles there and you're like, wow. And because I was in there during Christmas, they had um, uh, the Christmas themes, mm -hmm. like cinnamon, Christmas pudding, it does not Christmas pudding. Mm. And they had one, I can't remember the brand, it was called uh, Forest Fire and it actually smells like forest. Oh, like, so, pine. like pine, smoky. Pine. Oh, lovely. Was, I have to go. You have to go. I have to go. <laughs> yeah, so be prepared. Mmm, have spend. to go. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll have to say, look, I've got a gap in my fragrance wardrobe. I think you were saying um, about if you tell them what, what you like, and I'd say I like amber. amber. <laughs> so, yeah. That'd be wonderful. I'd love that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Chanel has amber too. Yeah, I'll probably come back and say this yeah. one's got amber in it. There's something, because um, a lot of the fragrances I like, I'll go back and look at what the notes are, yeah. and a lot of them, their common thing is the amber. Yeah. So clearly it's something I really love. Yeah, and because of that, they always tell, so, uh, you know, they always tell men who are trying to buy for their wives and girlfriends mm. or mums, that if they are not replacing it, they're, if they're trying to buy a brand new perfume, it's not going to work. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you need to go along, along with the theme because you know what yeah, they like. Yeah, or they have to bring the person in. Yeah. They can't just... Okay, you've tempted me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's, that's our hits for summer. Okay, we'll speak to you next time with our missus. Bye. Bye.